On to the last question, the 15 market, it says the one-dimensional 1D array clubs is used to store the name of 12 cricket clubs in a local sports league. Uh, the two-dimensional 2D array statistics is used to store for each cricket club the number of matches won, drawn and lost. The 1D array points is used to store the total number of points each cricket club has been awarded. Uh, right, the position of any cricket club's data is the same in all three arrays. Uh, for example, the data in index 2 of statistics and index 2 of points belongs to the cricket club in index 2 of clubs. Right, the variable matches stores the number of matches played by each team. Each team plays the same number of matches. Uh, and we see well, a win gets 12 points, a draw 5 and a loss is 0. Uh, what we want to do, we want to allow the number of matches played to be input and stored with a maximum of 22 matches. Then we want to validate the number of matches played. Uh, we want to allow the names of the cricket clubs to be input and stored. Uh, allow the number of matches won, drawn and lost to be input and stored for each team. Uh, right, validate the number of matches won, drawn or lost against the number of matches played and ask the user to re-enter the number of matches won, drawn or lost if the total does not match the number of matches played. Um, I mean, so what, what this is saying is like, let's say if they say there's 20 matches but they say this team, they won 10, they drew 5 and they lost 6 well that's going to be invalid because you know that means they played 21 matches um, so yeah, of course, it should equal 20. Uh, right, calculate and store the total number of points for each club. Find the cricket club or clubs uh, with the highest number of points. And output the name or names of the winning club or clubs, the number of wins and the total number of points awarded. Um, right, so you must use pseudocode or Chrome code and add comments to explain how your code works. Uh, you do not need to declare, to declare any erase or variables. You may assume this is already been done. All, right, all inputs and outputs must contain suitable messages. Um, I, I mean, yeah, as always, then this is just the starter code which you can get if you go here to the exam questions. You know, choose the correct paper, um, and yeah, you can use this as you know the sort of code that Cambridge has already uh, sort of declared for you. Right. So first, then, what we want to do, we want to get the number of matches played uh, to be input. Uh, right, with a maximum of twenty-two matches, and we want to validate this. So probably the easiest way to validate that, I mean, if we just have a repeat until. Um, so here, what we'll say, let's say, uh, I don't know, maybe enter number of matches, uh, yeah, to play or that have been played. Uh, right, and let's say that can be one to 22. Right, then we're just gonna input this into this matches variable, um, which again, you know, that, that's already been declared. Uh, right, and then let's say until, and that's gonna be until matches is uh, what well, great let's say uh, okay greater than or equal to one um yeah and matches is less than or equal to 22. um i think that should be fine right then the next one we want to allow the uh names of the career clubs to be input and stored uh, okay yeah again get the wins losses draws um yeah and obviously just validate this so i think really i mean all of this can be done in one loop um and probably, uh, yeah, and then I think just this output, this has to be done in the final loop, um, or like a second loop, because what we can do, well, of course, uh, since we're inputting all of the wins, losses, draws, we can also directly calculate which team has got the highest number of points inside this like input loop. Um, and then, yeah, when we, uh, sorry, okay, not what team, but uh, we'll calculate the highest number of points Okay, because there could be multiple teams with you know that, uh, that number of points. And then like, let's say for example, we find the highest number of points is like 100. Well, then we would have another loop at the end and that would just loop through and find out all the teams that scored 100 points. Um, and of course, yeah, just output this relevant information. Um, so let's just like declare then, uh, although again, in the exam, you wouldn't have to, uh, but I think, you know, just so it works on the website. Right, let's go highest points and that'll be an integer and let's just assign that the value zero to start with. Um, right, and I mean, yeah, then we just want this first loop that's gonna be inputting all of the data. So what we can do, let's go a four and we can make it a four loop because we know that we only have to loop through 12 clubs. Um, it's not like an unknown how many times we have to loop. Uh, so let's call this club norm. We'll start that at one, then we'll just go to 12. Um, now in the exam, of course, you would hard code 12 like this. However, for this particular example, like I don't want to do 12 clubs. 
um, because it's going to take too long. Uh, so I'm just going to make this number of clubs constant three. Um, yeah, and in fact, hang on, uh, let's just remember that for IG we should use this uh, assignment for constants. Um, right, so this is uh, right number of clubs because it, again, you know, I don't want to type in 12 club names, 12 wins, 12 losses, 12 draws, right? It's going to take too long. Uh, so here, let's go like, yeah, enter name of club one. Uh, yeah, let's enter name for club, uh, and then we'll just go club num. Right then, we're just going to input that into clubs, and this will be club num. So yeah, this will say, you know, enter name for club one, club two, club three. Um, right, and then here is where we want to get the number of, you know, wins, draws, losses, and we want to validate that the number of matches is equal. Uh, yeah, to the number of matches that they entered here. Um, right, so maybe let's just declare some variables. Uh, let's go maybe wins, uh, let's say draws, right, and losses. Um, and yeah, maybe maybe let's also go points, right, we'll make that an integer. And I mean, I'll leave some space just in case I have to declare more later. But yeah, hopefully this might be enough. Um, so again, let's just go repeat until uh, and what we're going to do then, so we're just going to go output and let's say maybe you enter number of wins. Uh, okay, four, and let's go, what this would be the club name. Um, so the club name is, well, again, this clubs array and then you have just the club num index. Uh, right, then let's just input that into the wins. And yeah, what we can do then, so, I mean, we, we could, you know, directly go right points and then that's going to be uh, like wins uh, times 12. Um, although really we can just do this entire points calculation at the end. So I think I'll do that all in one go at the end. Um, right, and then I guess what we also need to do, we also need to assign this to the statistics. Um, because if I just go back to this original question. Uh, right, so it says, uh, yeah, okay, right, so this 2D array statistics will contain the number of matches won, drawn and lost. Um, right in that order. So what we're saying is uh, right statistics uh, Right the first uh, let's say the first dimension. So the row this will be the club So here that will be club num right and then uh, the wins will be in column one Okay, then the draws in column two uh, the losses in column three and Here we're just going to assign that to be wins and I mean really then what we can do we can just copy this a couple of times uh, so let's go draws and then rather than one it's going to be two um, of course this will be draws uh, yeah this will be draws um, and let's just go losses like this um, okay so I think that should be okay uh, so we've yeah we've had right the name has been input right the number of matches one drawn and loss has been input uh, right, then we want to validate the number of matches won, drawn, or lost against the number of matches played. So the way we can do that is, well, here we just go until. So let's say, what well, until wins, or right, plus draws, uh, plus losses. So this will just total, you know, how many matches they won, drawn, and lost, the rest of the, uh, effectively their total number of matches. Um, and yeah, we want to make sure that that equals matches. Um, yeah, and I mean, we, we could also have an error message. We could say something like, uh, I mean, let, let's go here for example. Let's go if uh, right so if right wins plus draws uh, plus losses. Uh, right, let's check if it's not equal to the number of matches. Uh, then what we're going to do, we'll just output an error message. Um, and again, you know, you could probably have another variable that stores this rather than having to do it over and over. Uh, but let's say. Yeah, I mean, what what can we say for this? Uh, maybe expected like. 20 matches but data only entered for 19 matches or right? something like that uh, so yeah let's say uh, expected and then it's going to be matches uh, so yeah maybe expected uh, may, all right, maybe expected 20 you know results to be entered um, but and then let's say right but this uh, yeah was entered instead uh, I, I don't know maybe like this many results were entered instead Um, okay, yeah, that should be fine. And then, 
And you, you, I mean, you know, honestly, we don't really need an else here because uh, obviously if it's false, well, it's just going to do the whole thing again anyway. Uh, so in order to calculate this points, where well, it's going to be right, wind, uh, hang with winds, yeah, okay, winds times 12. Um, then it's going to be what, draws, and then times 5. Um, and of course, we don't need the losses because, well, the losses, they get zero points. Um, and then what we do, we go points, and this will be the club norm. Um, and then, yeah, we just assign that points here. Right. And to be honest, you know, we, we uh, yeah, I guess we don't really need this points because we could just, you know, directly assign it here. Um, so, yeah, let, let's just do that. Uh, okay, and then what we want to check, we want to check that if that, uh, yeah, if the current team's points are greater, um, I guess, yeah, if they're greater than the highest points, and to be honest, we probably should do this inside, an, uh, uh, yeah, I guess inside an else statement, because otherwise, you know, if they enter like 500 wins, um, and of course that's going to become the highest points, which, uh, yeah, that's not what we want. Um, right, so I'm just going to change it. Let's say if it's equal. Uh, yeah, or in fact, hang on. Um, all right, so I think actually uh, we don't need an else, right? Because of course we can do this. Uh, we can do this after the. Yeah, we can do this after this until. Um, okay, so that yeah, that should be okay. And then we want to check that uh, if the points for this team is greater than the current high score. So let's go if points club norm. Uh, let's say it's greater than, and this is what highest points. All right, then what we want to do, so this is just setting the maximum, right? You should be fam uh, should be familiar with this. Uh, we set the highest points to be, well, this current number of points. Um, right, then let's just go end if. And right, see what we've done. So, right, we've done the names, uh, we've done the matches one, we've, uh, we've validated this. Uh, yeah, we've asked them to re-enter. Uh, we've calculated the, yeah, total number of points for each club. Um, right, then we find the cricket club or club with the highest number of points. Yeah, I mean, we've done that. Uh, right, then we just want to output. So I'm just going to check. I mean, statistics, yeah, we've filled this. All right, club's done that, points done that. Um, okay, so I think hopefully we've done everything, then we just need to output. Uh, right, so here then we just want to close this for loop. So let's just go next and then club none. Um, and then here again, we're just kind of going to do the same thing where we want to loop through each of the clubs and we want to find out that if their points is equal to the highest points. Um, and, you know, I mean, the, the reason we need, you know, two loops to do that is because, well, one, there might be multiple teams that have the highest number of points. Um, and of course, you know, we can't sort of output like, oh, this team has the highest points because, well, maybe a team later has more points. Um, so, yeah, that's why we need to calculate this highest points first. Uh, then we need to loop through again right in order to find you know all the teams with those uh, yeah with that number of points uh, so let, let's just do the same thing right let's call it club norm we'll just go one um, of course in the exam you'd go to 12 uh, but here let's just go to number of clubs and what we'll do is we want to say what well, if the points for this club uh, is equal to the highest points then right what do we want to output so we want the right okay, club name uh, right the wins and the total number of points um, so, uh, okay, I mean, let, yeah, let's not say club name. I mean, let's just go clubs directly. Uh, this will be club num. Um, let's say scored. Uh, and then, I mean, honestly, we, we can just go highest points like this because our well, highest points is equal to the points club num. Um, and let's say, right, and had, and then, you know, 10 wins or something. Uh, so what's that going to be? Uh, this is statistics. Uh, remember, this is a 2D array, so the first, uh, well, let's say the row, okay, the first index is the club norm. And then I think the wins was this column one, right? Draws was column two, losses was column three. Uh, yeah, I think then we can just go end if, and let's just then go next club norm, right? And then hopefully if I've not made any mistakes, yeah, that should work. So, I mean, let's try this, we'll have a go. Uh, right, enter the number of matches to play, I mean, let's just say uh, maybe 10. Right, enter the name for club one. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't really know the name of cricket clubs. Uh, let's go like Lancashire. Uh, right, let's say they have five wins. Uh, maybe they have three draws. And uh, let's say, well, two losses. 
like yeah, that should be fine. Uh, I don't know the next club. I think someone said like Bengal Tigers. Uh, right, enter the number of wins. Uh, let's say six. Uh, let's say they have. Okay, I mean, so here let's give an invalid. Let's say they have three draws and let's say two losses. So this should be eleven. Um, yeah. Okay. So now I send. Uh, yeah. Okay. So right. Now I send expected ten results, but eleven results. Uh, I think the grammar is bad, right? But eleven many results were entered. Um, yeah. Of course, I, I can fix the grammar. It doesn't really matter. Uh, right. So here then. Uh, let's just try again. Let's go six. Let's say three and let's say two. Uh, okay. Yeah. My maths is bad. Uh, okay. Right. Six. Uh, let's go three and then one. Right. And, uh, I don't know. Maybe club three. That can be Sydney. Um, and let's go, I don't know, one, let's say eight, and I guess one. Uh, okay, so yeah, here then it says Bengal scored, what, 87, um, and I guess that should be points, uh, and had six wins. So yeah, let's go points here, right, and had, and then this will be wins. Um, and let's just test it again, where let's go, for example, five. Uh, club one, let's just call them A. Let's say they have uh, five wins, obviously zero draws, zero losses. Uh, club, uh, let's go B, right, they can have zero wins, uh, maybe one draw, four losses. Um, and then, right, so this will be C, and they're also going to have five wins, uh, zero draws, zero losses. So now I should say that A and, uh, a and C are both winners. Uh, yes, A scored 60 and also C scored 60. Um, Alright guys, so again, I mean, hopefully this makes sense, uh, you know, again, hopefully the video is useful, and see you in the next video.